Hello, everyone, and welcome to Photo Finds. I'm your host, Gavin Hatch. Legoland Florida Resort opened its first on-site hotel Friday, May 15th, and I had the chance to explore it the day before its grand opening. The Legoland Hotel has 152 guest rooms and is just steps away from the main entrance of the Legoland Park. Outside, a green dragon hanging out on the clock tower welcomes you. He doesn't breathe fire, but every 30 minutes he does shoot out steam and it gets pretty loud, so be prepared because it scared the crap out of me. Walking inside the hotel, you are greeted by another dragon and have the chance to lay back and relax on a bed made entirely of Lego bricks. For kids arriving with their own luggage, there is this adorable cart made of Legos for kids to use to take their bags up to the room. The front desk has a wall full of thousands of Lego mini figurines, 5,000 to be exact. While mom and dad check in, the kids can start having fun with building their Lego masterpiece. You may even find staff on hand to help the kids with their creations. If you have some kids that have a bit more energy, the lobby also has this really large indoor play area. The playground doesn't have any slides, but is perfect for parents who want to interact with their kids during playtime. If you rather have a drink while the kids are having fun, then walk over to the Skyline Lounge that is just steps away. The Skyline Lounge is a full bar that has specialty cocktails for both adults and kids. Of course, the kids' drinks are non-alcoholic. The best feature of the lounge is this Lego-built Skyline display that gives it its name. The display is extremely detailed with lots to look at, kind of like the Miniland area found inside the park. My favorite part of the Skyline is the Stormtrooper that you will find looking closely into one of the apartment windows. There are other cool things to look at in the display such as some construction workers on their lunch break, a pool party on a rooftop, a window washer in distress, and someone running to catch their ride on a helicopter. The Lego Club is a room that has a TV and comfortable seats for kids to come in and watch movies. It's right across from the bar, so they won't be very far from mom and dad. One of my favorite features about staying here is the all-inclusive breakfast buffet that's provided every day for hotel guests at Brick's Family Restaurant. The dining location is the only one found at the hotel and is open for breakfast and dinner. The dinner is an additional cost and non-hotel guests are welcome to dine here. It has a great variety of food and lots of Lego creations found throughout the dining room. After breakfast, grab the sunscreen, swim trunks, and head out back to the pool area. This is a very decent sized pool with a good amount of lounge chairs and zero entry. The kids will have fun playing with these floating bricks, and if you have anyone that is not the strongest swimmer, you can let them have fun in this water play area. I love the little Lego people that you find around the entire hotel, such as this one. Back inside, over at the elevator lobby, you will find this fun and interesting interactive feature. When you step on the whoopee cushion, you will hear, well, you will, you know. So let the kids have fun with that while you wait for the lift. Once inside the elevator, you will have the chance to show off your disco moves in one of the coolest features at the hotel. The disco elevator plays a number of tunes from the 1970s during your ride, and they even have a type of disco ball. Now this hotel is very unique when it comes to the accommodations. There are four different themed rooms. You have the adventure rooms, pirate rooms, kingdom rooms, and Lego friends rooms. The level of detail is amazing, and it starts when you get out of the elevator onto your floor. You are greeted with themed music and a Lego figurine matching the theme. You have the choice of staying in a standard room, premium, or suite. The only difference in the premium compared to the standard is that it's just more decor and wallpaper. The room sizes are the same and sleep up to five. Let's take a look at a standard pirate themed room. When you walk in, the kids' space is what first catches your eye. It has a bunk bed that actually sleeps three since there's an extra mattress found underneath the bottom bunk. They have their own TV, night lights, Lego character creations, and a puzzle game for them to play. The bathroom even has Lego creations, as well as a step stool and child-sized toilet seats for little ones. Mom and Dad will have a great night's sleep on a king-sized bed and will also have Lego creation decor of their own to enjoy. Most of the rooms have a wonderful view of the park or the huge lake that is used for ski shows. You can even see some of the larger attractions in Legoland, such as the island in the sky. They also have suites that provide the same great details just on a larger scale and sleep up to six. You have a spacious living area and private balcony. 
The kids have their own room with two bunk beds. Mom and dad have their own room with a king size bed and open closet space. Everyone would share the same bathroom, but it is very large and comes with a tub, separate shower, and plenty of space if you want to have multiple people in there getting ready at the same time. I love how it makes you feel like you're inside a pirate ship. If you are having a girls weekend, I recommend looking into Lego Friends Suite. It's the exact layout as the other suites, just different decor. Viewed as one of the biggest success stories, Lego Friends is a brand that was created in 2012 and is targeted towards girls. The line doubled sales expectations the year it launched. During my visit, I got to also take a look into a Kingdom Standard Room. Again, when you walk onto the fourth floor, you are immersed into the story. Even the carpet in the hall and rooms has detail. All rooms include a mini fridge, coffee maker, as well as Wi-Fi access. And of course, all guests get early entry into Legoland Florida. I like how even in the bathroom, the shower curtains have Lego characters featured. Now another thing that is unique to this hotel that I've never seen at any Orlando hotel is the welcome treasure hunt. Upon check-in, you receive a treasure hunt to complete in your room. And when you receive the combination to a lock to open this box, you get a free gift that you can take home. How cool is that? This is a premium adventure room. This is themed to the Thunderjack Lego series that was created in 1999 and was discontinued in 2003, right before Lego got the rights to Indiana Jones, which is very similar. I even got to meet Thunderjack himself in the lobby that day. Exclusive for hotel guests, your kids can learn to make a Lego model from an actual master builder at the master builder's workshop. You have to set up a time at the front desk when checking in, and it's no additional cost. Well, that does it for this edition of Photo Finds. I had such a great time at the Legoland Florida Resort and highly recommend it for families with kids ages 2 to 12 or for any Lego enthusiast. Over 60 million Lego bricks are used in both the park and the hotel. I just find that so amazing. Well, until next time, please make sure you get out, have fun, and enjoy the parks.